All right, so we're back with the dev stream video. We did it in 6.1 with Wee Su Shang, and now we are introduced to the version 6.2 of, I want to say Valkyrie, but I'm going to say Battle Suit. This is kind of weird. It, uh, it probably is who I think it is, but right now this is, um, this thing, uh, the update has just been put, I mean, it's a, it's like an announcement on the community tab on Bilibili. So it's just been put up there, and it appears to be iChan, so it says, uh, right here, 初次见面,你可以称呼我管理员小姐, so that means Miss Administrator. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna read the first part of it, um, 全新 SP 角色, IE 修伯利安. So it, it, <laughs> it is some kind of grown-up version of Ai Chan, and the battle suit name is Shi Fan Lu Ren. Um, something like time traveler, time sailing traveler, something like that. And the rest is just like uh, we'll be introduced to Captain's version six point two, blah blah blah. So there's nothing much in the rest of it, but it does say, uh, Ai. E, so it's not like Ai Jiang, which is what we usually call Ai Chan. Um, so they just go like IE, which is like I, I guess it like, you know, which is very interesting. All right, we're back. Apparently OBS crashed right as I was about to go watch the vid. So we're here anyway, and let's go. I Hyperion. I'm so used to calling her I Chan. I think she used that name. You play Honkai Impact also? Okay. I think she used that name in chapter 31 EX when she appeared. I wonder if any of this is going to be canon. Wow, looks like fire. Okay. And I think earlier it said mech. Oh wait, reaction with like your weapon active button? Please shut down all illegal programs. All right. Let's see what's... Yes, you did not make a mistake. This is the ship AI, I Hyperion, after growing up. Yeah, it is weird hearing an AI grow up too, an adult. But I was thinking, the time she's been with us has not lost out to any other Valkyrie, so they're giving her time in the spotlight, I guess. I Hyperion Lambda. So that's like, the word he used is the same as like Sim, but like more like the Elysia Sim, the one that showed us to the Elysian Realm. Interesting. To differentiate her between between her and the small eye chan. Small eye. I don't know what they're adding, but he says it's... It's a ballerina skirt to show her elegance. On the hair, they're keeping the cabbage motif. For more elegance, they added long hair. Okay. Big Eye is a more elegant and mature version of Eye. Compared to Eye's silliness. She's smarter, more knowledgeable and more mature, a product of time. But after knowing her more, you feel that she kept little eyes characteristics. Oh, when you pick stuff up? <laughs> the same taglines. Oh, which is, okay. Sometimes she would show her cabbage side. Oh, af oh, victory pose. Okay. Oh, so when she breaks her mature image, she will try to get back to it and be like, you know, guys, I didn't break it. Okay. Oh, he feels like it's a very distant, like, too mature. Not the Ai Chan that he knew, but after looking closer, it feels like it's still her. Okay. So these are like young Ai Chan's characteristics being shown in on her. Ai is operated by AI, so her movement can surpass human beings. So the chakram is more part of her than just the weapon. 
So big rolls and movement and spins. I don't understand what he said with that. So it's a very direct and violent yet elegant combat style. If, it, if the elegance only brings <laughs> use her line. Anyway, if it only brings makes it more beautiful, it's still not enough. We need more interactive combat style. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it seems like your weapon active is like reactive to like the chakra returning. Imer system. <laughs> Imer fan much? I'm a I'm a huge Imer fan by the way. So with special weapon actives, she can. Okay, okay. So he did say it's a combo attack. And it almost feels like you're the one in combat. Did he say it's a combo attack? He just said it again. I might have I might have heard something wrongly, but he just said it again. So if that's the first time. Anyway. Ultimate. He also said that she's a support. Okay, I mean, did we think otherwise? Sorry, my brain is like on overdrive. She can bring what other characters cannot bring. Uh, she can bring surprises that other characters cannot bring. Before you get surprised by it, please don't miss out on Ai Chan. That's like a sentience line. Wait. <laughs> I'm not just good looking. Okay. Okay, and. Hmm. This is a lot to take in. I'm just like, my brain's on overdrive. <laughs> Could you give me next month's pay in advance? Uh. What? Crystal Warehouse is running out. Please, I want to buy a new costume. Oh my god. I'm surprised I could read that fast. I was just catching like keywords, but okay. <laughs> Is that it? Okay, that's it. Okay, we're back. It skipped to another video, apparently. Anyway. So there are points that I want to look on. Um, the gameplay aspect was very interesting. So this is like, this is what he was saying, like, you can tap the weapon active. Uh, right here he's tapping the weapon. And then there's this bar down here that like charges up. And so I think it's like, okay, so you... Oh, that seems like a lot of trouble. He did mention that it is a combo attack. He did also mention that you use the weapon active to like trigger that. And he did also say that she is a support. Because when he said like, oh, when she uses her ulti, uh, it's constant constant ignition. But also, um, it can be used to support... Like, it's a good support for teammates or something like that. I know he said that line somewhere. Um... Which, which, you know, it, it, it really is what I think what a lot of people are expecting out of the next fire support, which is that it would most likely be a replacement for Raven, which is, I guess you would say expected, unless it's like an S rank, right? Unless it's like an S rank new support, it's hard to like replace another S rank support with an A rank, I mean with an SP Valkyrie and have like two SP Valkyries. Uh, I know like there's a distinction between like A rank Valkyries and SP Valkyries, but essentially like what I'm trying to drive home is that like SP Valkyries start at A rank and like get upgraded to S, double S and triple S. And so like people would see it as like a lower tier because they're also like more affordable than S ranks. Uh, but what I mean is that that in, in and of itself with I Chan now being or I Hyperion Lambda now being added as an SP Valkyrie most likely. She is going to be replacing the other SP Valkyrie instead of the S rank Valkyrie support, which is Azir Imperia, making Raven probably not as useful as before already. Also, I mean, just, just looking at this, right? We might be being misled, who knows? But she is in a team with Azir Imperia and Flame Scion. Yeah, she has Flame Scion. So it's very likely that she is, as most people wanted, a replacement for Raven. Um, I personally have no issue with Raven. I do like Raven's... I, I not like like her gameplay, but I do feel that after getting used to her, her rotation is kind of smooth. It, you just have to kind of like understand. Yes, sometimes her, char her charging like um, 
SP charging phase can be a little bit long and annoying and like easily interrupted, but in general, she's not too bad uh, a support Valkyrie. But, you know, I guess a lot of people are getting what they want out of like iChan. And if you missed Midnight Absim and like Oslog and stuff like that, here's your chance to get back into the fire meta. Especially if like Flame Scion is like your most prized DPS. So yeah, back to this fighting. Very interesting. Uh, I'll talk a bit more of gameplay and then I want to talk about lore. I don't have much to talk about lore, but it's just like... The fact that they're giving the name like Imer system, like whoa, is, is this going to be like canonically, you know, canonical in the lore? This is going to be really interesting. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of like rambling with all these videos. My brain is just like, there's so much to process, you know? Okay, okay. Um, and one more thing I want to see with her ulti. Look at the ignition. Look at the ignition, it's just like, ignite trauma, ignite trauma, ignite. That is insane. So yeah, uh, apparently she's going to be a fire support. I don't know how good of like how people how much people are going to enjoy her. She does seem very fast paced, but that charging that charging speed of like the battery at the bottom does seem to take up quite a bit of time on the field. Like look, one, two, three. Usually with Valkyries like that, what happens is that at higher ranks, instead of like having to manually, I mean like organically charge these bars, they give you like one from QTE, one from evasion, one from like activating certain uh, like weapon skills or something like that. And so you kind of like within the rotation, you get a super fast charge. And I think that might be what they're going for. Instead of like having to have her on the field for a long period of time, they'll give you something that like gives you like two bars and then maybe you have to work for one. Or you just like switch in and have all three bars. And so she's like a very fast switch in, very rapid, um, very likely to be replacing Raven's playstyle of like having to come in and like throw feathers and like charge up. Um, on the whole, I do think um, it would be a good change of pace. But I'm not saying Raven was a bad addition. Um, I, I do think like certain rotations would still fa favor Raven, but having her come in to be like an additional fire support uh, doesn't seem like a bad idea either. Also that insane ignition, that insane ignition is like, whoa. So yeah, that's all I have. Um, sorry that my thoughts are like very scattered. I am just like, very, my brain is moving really quickly right now. I don't even know what to think about <laughs> iChan actually being playable. And uh, that also brings me to like lore, right? Like. They, they went as far as to say like this is a sim body, it is actually like a real body that like they had iChan's program go in to like use. Uh, similar to prob- I mean like they use the same word so I'm gonna say it's similar to like Alicia, the one that showed us into the Legion realm. And it seems to have something to do with time travel. If this is like canon, this is going to be very interesting. Uh, also with the recent edition of Prometheus. You know, it's either like some kind of reference or it's going to be like, there's going to be like a showdown between Prometheus and iChan in future. Who knows? Uh, the, um, lore wise, I feel like if they do make this canon, there's going to be a lot of lore implications. If you know stuff from like the recent chapters in CN, please do not spoil in the comments. At least not, not when the video just comes out. So yeah, that's all we're going to have for this video. I hope <laughs> it was informative in some way. Let me know what you guys thought, you know, is iChan being <laughs> a playable character surprising to you? Have you been wanting this all along? I know it's been a bit of a meme since four years ago when they kind of like memed on us during April Fools and iChan kind of like hacked in and like changed all the character avatars to like iChan avatars. They did have like kind of a meme-ish version of this. I think it almost looked exactly like this, but I think it was fan-made and now they've made it into reality. That is, um very interesting. So let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know what you guys think about her being a new fire support and if you think you would like it. If she happens to have to be on the field for a long period of time also, like, you know, let, let me know. But I guess gameplay wise, we can't talk about it too much or there's no point in talking about it too much because the beta is coming out in a day. So we'll wait for that and then we'll see how it goes. Until then guys, thank you for staying with this video. 
And um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on these videos as well. I This is only like the second version I've been doing this video, even though I've been playing Honkai for a really long time. So let me know if you guys want to see more. And I will see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.